Hi. Am I live? <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Okay. Uh, hello, hello. I am going to continue today. Hi, I'm Rachel Lee Moore. I'm Rachel Lee Moore. And Acoustic Breezes, Rachel, also. I'm going to continue my series on song catching, song catching music series, song writing music series. And this is all about a musical life. What does it involve? Songwriting, what does it involve? Song catching, what does it involve? I explained a lot about that on part one. This is part two of that. And I am basically sharing my experiences in songwriting, song catching, music making, musical experiences, storytelling about my life as a musician, as an actor, as a model, all sorts of things, as an educator. So I'm going to start out with the song that I will be playing today. And the song is called My Sweet Land. I'm playing original music. These are my original songs. So I hope you enjoy them. I'm going to, through each song, and every day I will play you, or each segment, I'm going to play you a different song. Only one. And uh, you'll get to know me through that one song, and I'll get to know me through what, that one song. And we'll learn about songwriting, song catching, and musical making, the musical life, in this way. So, without further ado, this is My Sweet Land. That's 
called My Sweet Land. And actually, sorry, one second. Oh, I meant to have this prepared already, but uh, I forgot. And this is from the CD. You can see it here. It's a little bit of a glare. Time passes by, Anne Rachel. Time passes by, Anne Rachel. I had gone through a transformation, and names are very important. Names are very important, and my whole official name is Anne Rachel Silverman Lee Moore. Everybody has a problem with it. I used to be called Anne for the longest time. That's what I was born as, that's what I was raised as, and that's how I lived for the longest time until I was in my 40s. And when I was in my 40s, I suppose I had a female life crisis. <laughs> and uh, I was growing and evolving and going through transformations. I lived a long uh, life until then. I had, had a nice career in music as an educator in early childhood education and performing, songwriting, and got married, had children, and then got divorced as well. And I lived, was born and raised in America, as I said, in the segment one. When I was 22 or 20, almost 22, I went to, I was traveling. I did traveling for three years before that, and when, from 19 to, from age 19 till 22, I loved every minute of it. I was driving a taxi in Boston, and that allowed me the freedom to work whenever I wanted, to travel whenever I wanted, to take vacations, to do whatever I wanted to do, basically, and still work, earn some money. So every summer, a friend and I would go traveling. We traveled two years through Canada, hitchhiking. Those were the days, hit, thumbing around. And then the third year, I went to Israel to visit my mother who was living there at the time. And I stayed there for three months. And after three months, I went traveling around Europe with my friend, we met. She went back to America. I had an open-ended ticket, which was airfare, uh, which was then available to us. And I thought, I've got another six months. I'll go back to Israel because I had started to belong to a musical community in Israel. I had found kind of my niche, my niche. And so I went back to Israel, and that six-month stay turned into 22 more years. So as I said, I, I enjoyed a, a wonderful music career. I became a, a teacher and educator of uh, a particular method of music making with babies till young children and taught guitar to all ages. And I really enjoyed my life. I performed in many groups duos, trios, bands, the Jerusalem Folk, Uva Blow, Tofa'a, and many just enjoyed. We had a nice musical community in Israel. I highly recommend going to Israel to find it and be part of it if you're a musician. And, but in 19, I went there from 1976 and hippie days, you know, as I said, we were thumbing around. And in 1980, I went back to America, 1981, to earn some money, I thought. Seemed like what the right thing to do. So I stayed in America for about six months. At that time, the uh, war in Lebanon, Lebanon broke out, and uh, I was in America. I wrote some poetry about that, and I started songwriting in America. I had earlier received some songs and poetry and poems and this particular song happened during that time 19 well it says 1982 so it was 1981 82 during that time during my stay in America trying to earn some extra money I didn't earn any <laughs> extra money uh, that's the story of my life but uh, what I did gain was 
some songwriting or song catching and I call this song catching and I will say because there was a po uh, Indian Native American poet poem that I came across and I have listed it in segment one and I will list it again in segment two here in the box below uh, Rainbow Walker Arlie mm, Negahasi something like that and uh, he described the experience that many writers and songwriters and poets and creative creatives have probably in science as well that uh, everything is out there in the energy in the energetic world and it's our job in this 3d world in this physical world to capture those poems those songs everything that's out there and bring it into the physical world and then send it out in our physical world to those who need it to those who can benefit from it to those who can love it and just enjoy it so this is song catching and that's what I'm about I'm sharing my musical experiences as a song catcher songwriter and my musical life my personal story so Back in Israel, I was in Israel from 1976 to 1981, 82, I went back to America and song, this first song came to me. After spending the six months there, I returned to Israel and spent the rest of my time until 1998 there, at which time I went back to America, but that's for another segment. So... <laughs> In Israel, I really came out as a musician. I was discovered by Bruce Brill. Hi, Bruce again. You're the man. And uh, I joined, I became a rhythm guitarist, backup guitarist, and harmony singer for so many people. I was a duo with Paul Graham, God Rest Soul. Uh, may his memory be a blessing. Zichrono le bracha. He left us uh, maybe 10 years back already, or eight years, I'm not even sure, six, sadly. He was sort of my, my musical partner for a long, my, my whole duration of stay in Israel. And I was part of a trio called Uva Blow, you can find them. By the way, this is my website, rachelmusic.com, R-A-H-E-L music.com. And if you go to that website and then click on Downloads, it'll bring you to my Bandcamp site where you can then listen to music and download music as well. So the song is from the CD, Time Passes By, this orange one. You can uh, download the song or download the album as you please or just listen. So in 1981 there I was in America. The Lebanon war had broke out. The soldiers were, uh, were battling it out in Israel and in Lebanon. That's a historical uh, moment that we should all understand and learn about and, and know about. But I was in America at the time. single young woman and this song came out so this let's see what this song is about it says see the hillside over yonder there's my baby over there at his doorstep he's singing a lot This song actually came to me as a vision. Back then I had a lot of time to spare. I would sit often with this guitar, not this guitar, but a guitar in my hand. And uh, by the way, this is a Little Martin, little plug for Martins there. 
Maybe someday I'll represent Martin. Hey, Martin. <laughs> little Martin, the one that Ed Sheeran uh, also promotes. It's a little travel guitar. It's wonderful. If you need to travel with it, it sounds almost like a like a bigger, you know, full, uh, at least a half size, quarter size, full size guitar. Not like a full size guitar, but it's electric. This is electric acoustic. You can plug it in. This is the LX1E. So uh, anyway, as I was saying, sorry, I I go off tend to go off on tangents. This song came to me as a vision, and I tend to sit often. Back then, anyway, I had a lot of time, and again now, stare at the walls, have the guitar in my hand, and then suddenly, when your mind is blank. Songs come to you, and this one did come kind of full as a vision. The vision was this a young couple living in a small house, maybe a log cabin, on the beautiful hillsides in uh, much like Vermont or a clearing amongst a in a, a trees or something like that, and uh, in a clearing, and there's a river in front of it. And the young couple is very peaceful and serene. The atmosphere is very peaceful and serene. It's beautiful. You're surrounded by nature. They live there. They live there. And whether the woman is pregnant, uh, that's a questionable. I'm not sure whether when I sing this, if it's a woman who is carrying a child or whether it is the child within. Many times I'm giving songs, I'm given songs, and I receive songs, and I have mentioned this, I will probably mention this in every segment, that I don't always know what they're about, and so what I'm doing now is actually learning what they're about. Sometimes I know, sometimes I needed to spend some time living before I understood them, and in any case, they come to me and I bring them out to you. So. This young couple, the woman is sitting on the step in front of the little house. The man is out in a canoe. He's going down the river, probably fishing for some dinner. And the scene is very serene. It's a simply a peaceful moment. So see the hillside over yonder. There's my baby over there. My baby in slang means my man, you know, my husband, my significant other. At his doorstep, he's singing a lullaby. No, oh, that's kind of weird, but anyway. And the child that sleeps within me Nestles peaceful in his soul in my dreams I catch a glimpse as I cast aside. The child that sleeps within me nestles peaceful in his soul. In my dreams I catch a glimpse as I cast aside. Maybe this is a premonition. Maybe this was some kind of a vision of things to come. Who knows? Maybe it was just a moment to enjoy that serenity. That, that feeling of serenity in a very chaotic world. I'm not quite sure myself. If you have any ideas, <laughs> let me know. I'll be very ha happy to hear them. You can put them in the comments. So, that child that sleeps. So, here we are on the hillside. It's very serene. There's lullabies, beautiful music being played or sung. There's a child maybe on the way and the child within us is simply at peace. Our souls are at peace. Uh, in my dreams, I catch a glimpse as I catch, cast aside. And we are sailing on a river, leading hopes and dreams afar in my life. 
Till I close my eyes to dream up more Through the mountains And the hillsides of my sweet land We are sailing on the river Leading hopes and dreams afar In my life I've had a million How many dreams do we have? What are our goals? What are our aspirations? What do we want to do in life? Who are we? We have many dreams. Are we going to be able to fulfill them? We're leading them afar, leading hopes and dreams afar. We want to go far in our lives. We want to fulfill every dream that we have. In my life I've had a million. Still, I close my eyes to dream up more. What are we without our hopes and our dreams? They keep us going, they inspire us, they motivate, motivate us to move ahead in life through the mountains and the hillsides of my sweet land. Wherever you are, wherever your sweet land is, wherever you are, <laughs> my friend Hannah, hi Hannah, she had a nice little poster that said, bloom where you're planted. Bloom where you're planted. Wherever you find yourself, don't just sit around and stagnate. Bloom, grow, wherever you may be. So through the mountains and the hillsides of my sweet land, in that serene moment, that's what was happening. Let's see how it goes on. serene moment we rest we take time for ourselves we take time to refresh we take time to replenish we take time to revive we take time to let our bodies our physical bodies renew themselves I can hear him singing gently again song we all have our own special song every one of us has a song to sing even if you're not a singer even if you're not a musician, we still have a song to sing. There's a parable or a, I never use the right words, but uh, there's a story about the song, the song of the grasses in, in a Hebrew song. The grasses are alive. They have their own soul. Uh, hi, I, I'm not doing actually a uh, conversation right now. So we'll save that for later, if you don't mind. So, oh, I've got a phone call. So I will have to uh, come back. Or I can call them back. Sorry, I'll have to call you back later. Um, I'll call them back as soon as I finish this. So... Yeah, we all have a song. The grasses have a song. Nature has a song. The trees have a song. Anything that's alive, the animals, they all have their own song. We are each blessed with our own song to sing. We need to find it. It's part of our dreams, our goals. It's where we're going. It's our direction. I look like a fish. <laughs> fish going down the stream. So, over yonder on the hillside I send my gaze. I'm watching. I'm just enjoying life. So... I'm going to sing this whole song and because obviously this time is a little bit busy for me, I'm going to end this segment with the plain replay of this song. And this is Song Catching. This is my Song Catching music series. I'm sharing my personal life stories, my songs, the, uh, talking about songwriting, song catching, musical, a musical life. So this is a little bit more of a glimpse into 
how a musician receives songs, what a musician does with the songs. If you're a guitarist, I put my capo on too and I play in the key of G. It's actually in the key of A with the capo on. I do finger style picking. I use a thumb pick. I learned guitar at age 14. I've been playing guitar for a very long time. I uh, learned from the best through listening to vinyl records and grabbing what I could by ear back then from the greats like Simon and Garfunkel, Paul Simon picking, and uh, Eric Anderson, the folk, folk musicians, Crosby, Stills and Nash. Later I learned different styles, but this is really based on this ragtime. Who is that? Keanu Reeve. <laughs> As I said, I'm going to finish with this uh, replay of this song. It's called My Sweet Land. You can find it on this CD. Anne Rachel, Time Passes By. Anne Rachel, Time Passes By. You can find me at rahelmusic.com, R-A-H-E-L music.com. Click on there and click on Downloads. If you like what you see, click like, subscribe, all of that stuff. I don't even know how to do that stuff. I have a YouTube channel. That's where this is going to go. This uh, video will go on YouTube channel in the song catching series. I'll start making a play playlist for that. And uh, so enjoy the song. I wish you peace today, serenity, and I hope all your hopes and dreams come true. If the, Just follow them. Just follow your hopes and dreams. Follow your heart. Live from your heart. Your mind sometimes confuses you. I'll sing the song again. <laughs> it's a long goodbye. I don't want to leave you, but I have to.
and the hillsides of my sweet land. dedicated to you, Hannah. Hannah, when I left Israel in 1998, you gave me two candlesticks, and on them were written, and we are sailing on a river, and on the other one, leading hopes and dreams afar. And we shared them. You kept one, and I kept the other. And uh, I'll always remember you because of that. Not just because of that, because you're my friend. You're like one of my best friends honestly. And uh, I dedicate this segment to Hannah over there in Israel. Thank you for being my friend. And thank you all of you for listening and tuning in. And I hope that what I have to share about my life and with, through my songs, they will speak to you in some level and in some way. And today the theme is obviously serenity, peace and serenity finding peace within ourselves and around in our surroundings. So, peace and blessings. Take care, everybody. Bye.